Hello everyone! Hey! And welcome to Uncut Gaming. Where we don't edit our videos. But we are adopting pets. Adopting is a, a big word for what we're going to do with That's those pets. True. But there will be poop. Oh yeah. And plenty of it. Look, poop tokens. Yeah. I think they're this way around. Yes. Poopy poop. All right. So welcome to Dungeon Pets. Yes. An yeah. oldie but a goodie. Yeah, it's uh, a game that we like. It's relatively heavy. It's relatively old, yes. but it aged well. Yes, except maybe for the graphics. Oh God, yes, yes. It's which was old when it came out. Oh yeah, it's like there's a whole nineties uh, gaming going yeah. on here with the color palette and everything. It's like a discrepancy between the adorable pets and mm -hmm. the really crappy color palette everywhere yeah it's just huge mm -hmm. but hey it oozes charm which is uh more important in my opinion yes i agree and we'll get to see all that charm in it's all its glory yeah poopy glory yes so in dungeon pets mm -hmm. the so dungeon pets is a successor to another game called overlord dungeon lords that was close right and um so the dungeon was uh, collapsed or was whatever mm -hmm. uh, by the heroes and all the imps got away. They but were the free. The queen got away from the dungeon that collapsed, right? No. Oh, that's a shame. In any case, the imps got away and they thought to themselves, well, what do we do now after we escape the dungeon? And they decided to open up pet shops. Very nice. That's amazing. So each of us is an owner of a dungeon pet shop. Yeah. What? It's the fishy fish. It's, yes. it's the fishy fish that has boo-boo on it. I like the art of the, the distinct elements here. I'm going to do that a lot. Sure. Um, all right. So we have seven. So Oh, and another very important thing to say is that we are expansion. playing with an expansion called Dark uh, alleys. This is actually my first time playing with it, so I may ask more than a handful of rule yeah. questions, but I do know the base game, so right. I shouldn't uh, suck too much. Yeah, we haven't played with, and I haven't played with the expansion a lot either, like three but times maybe. have at least played. I've yeah. never touched it. Yeah, so maybe reviewing that component will be a little bit tough for us, but yeah, we'll get the base there. game we've played a bunch, so it'll be okay. You can remove your imp from there too. Yes. Are those their starting locations or yes. do they move? They move. Okay. But these are the starting locations. Really? They so this round things. one of us can yes. buy a pet? Yes. Holy Let's mother get, of all right. death. Let's, we're getting ahead of ourselves. All right. So this is our um, store where we will be able to hold four cages. We will be able to buy more cages uh, during the game. Mm -hmm. We will be able to buy add-ons for those cages to increase yes. their strengths or their abilities. The cages One add-on per cage. Right. And we will be able to get pets, little dungeon pets. Yes. Um, which we'll be placing inside the cages. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, we have seven workers. Mm -hmm. We have three gold to start with. Yes. And maybe I'll briefly mention the board here and the main mechanism of the needs cards. But oh, other than that, yeah, I think that's... we'll we'll uh, we'll play and and explain the rules during the game, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a very important segment. Yeah. All right. So uh, what what can we do uh, inside the board on the board? So we can buy pets. Mm -hmm. We could buy cages from the cages area. Like I just did, and we can buy add-ons from the add-ons area. Like you just did. Right. We could grab artifacts, which are special ability items, which are not available. Two should be unlocked. So right? no, they're not available in, in the first round. Okay, I'll explain sure. in a second why. We can grab foods to veg vegetables or meat to feed our yes. uh, lovely, uh, yep. The vegetables, vegetables, ladies and gentlemen. This is what a vegetable looks like. Yeah, it's a uh, broccoli or something. Yeah. Okay. And we can also um, uh, go to the immigration office to pick up relatives, more mm -hmm. imps that we'll be, we will be able to hire. Yeah, I, if I'm not mistaken, this is what should be here. If I understand the card correctly. Uh, no, that's fine. Because in round one, 
only two and two. It's written oh, there. Oh, right. I yeah. looked at the wrong place. Sorry. So we could pick up relatives from here. We mm -hmm. can go to the hospital to pick up either potion cards or some relatives uh, or some workers that have been injured. Um, we could go to the sales stand in order to uh, uh, sell our pets to customers at a better VP ratio. Yeah, advertising. Right. And we and there's a uh, contest at the end of each almost every round, um, and we could bribe the judges so that it will start with additional competition points, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Um, I'll talk about the dark alley when we go here. I think the dollar yeah. alley expansion. Okay. So the most important mechanism in the game are the needs cards. Let's say I've got this little uh, lovely. Um, why does it start like this? Right. Oh, because it's aged, right? Yeah, it starts at free. Right. So let's say I have this lovely uh, monster here. Yes. Pet. So at the at the start of each turn, you should be getting a purple, a yellow, and two greens in addition to your four needs cards. So right, it's not in the beginning of each turn, but when we start the phase of actually mm -hmm. uh, taking care of the pets, we will gather more cards according to the bars that are shown. These cards basically represent the um, sort of characteristics of this animal. Mm -hmm. So this animal can only eat vegetables. It is relatively hungry because of the green. It is rather playful because of the yellow and it rather has some magical outbursts because of the purple one. Yes. Right? And then I look at the cards and I need to assign cards to the pet. Yes. Right? So let's say I, and again, I'm, I'm doing this in a very high level. Um, Let's say these are the cards that I've assigned to it, and I need to assign cards uh, based on the same bars. Mm -hmm. So I'm missing this one, right? So, um, and then we evaluate the, the needs. So I decided that this monster will want to play. This pet. This pet will, will need to play. Mm -hmm. And there are various uh, ways to play to with a pet, that right? Need. She will want to eat twice. It will want to eat twice. Mm -hmm. And you will get a little bit sick. Yeah. And we'll cover what sickness means when we play the game. But basically, the act of gathering cards and then assigning cards to the pets in order to make them satisfied is, is the core mechanism that drives the whole game. Yeah, and the right? distribution isn't exactly... Right, you don't know what you'll be getting. Most of the cards in the green row are hunger right. needs, but some of them are poop, some of them are anger. Yeah. Um, also known as hangry yeah and some of them are sickness and the same thing goes you have the distribution on your board mm -hmm. though we, we usually just roll with it i don't remember ever looking at this yeah it's uh very very high level all right so another cool thing about the game is that the uh phases and what we need to do in each phase is clearly written on our player board here um so we reveal the next Competition, we'll get to that when we get to that mm -hmm. in the second round. We reveal the next customer. This is the customer. We'll get to that when we get to that. We refill food and uh, pets and we get gold. So the first player, and this mm -hmm. shifts around us, first player gets a uh, coin and you get two coins. Yay. Yay. I feel so lucky. Yep. And now we go shopping. So what we do right now is we'll actually cover the player mats yeah, it's not strictly necessary but uh yeah but you should do that yeah. it's good manners and we will assign groups of imps to go do stuff on the board uh so a group can be one imp or more and we can assign gold one or more to each group basically increasing its size so this is a group of size four this is a group of size three this is a group of size two etc and the sizes of the groups determines how fast you will be able to place them on the board. Yeah. So I can go very narrow, but high sizes, large sizes, or I can go very wide with lower sizes. All right, so I'm gonna do that for a second. Now basically you wanna look at the board and you wanna prioritize what you want. Yeah. Now, the green imps that you see on the board are actually one of the mechanisms for a low number of players. I think it's just for two, or do you also have that in three? three? Yeah. You also have that in free, and they have arrows telling us where they move. So this one will move here next turn, and so on. 
Are you sure we're only allowed to buy one pet in the yes. first round? Yes. I... When we're playing at four, or at three for that matter, there's always one spot less than the number of players. It's just something that always happens. Okay. Yes. Whomever buys the pet buys the one in the upper area because the pets shift here. Right. Which means that if we don't buy this one, it'll magically go to a happy place yeah. and then the rules say we have to add a piece of meat to the food yeah, next very time. Sad. So that's not going to happen. Yeah. All right. So I'm ready. As, as am I. I've been bantering because I'm ready. Yep. So I the largest side group for me is four. I have a six. Yep. Where are my cards? Didn't I take cards? So are I these start. Your cards? Yes, they are. Okay. So I'm gonna take. One. I think you return them after demonstrating. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. So I take this group and I put it over here along with a coin. How many coins have you? I had, f I had three here. So all of them go to back to the bank. Including the one that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you remind just... me, this means that I have to have one coin in this group and Correct. that's it. Okay. So you can remove the coin as well. Okay, sure. And just like you said, it says here that you have to have at least one coin in order to purchase mm -hmm. the pet. So you're going out and purchasing the pet. Here you you're go, purchasing little... The, sh the shelly shell. Yeah, here you go, little uh, creepy... Clam thingy? Clam, right. We're gonna produces, find you a good home. Yeah, produces pearls. All right. So no, the next group size four. is four. Yes. And because I'm the start player, mm -hmm. I get to place them. Although you don't ha even have a four. Right. No, I have a three, but yeah. the next time it's gonna okay. be relevant. So I will go, hmm. So that's, hmm, it's a shame. So I think, I'll go to take a take a cage. Mm -hmm. so this goes back here. And the cage that I'll be taking is, let's say, this one. As the iconography states, you need at least two imps to carry a right. cage home. Yep. Okay, so now we're at three. So again, because I'm first player, I get to place first because because mm -hmm. um, that's the way the we, tiebreaker works. Right, because we both have a three. Yes. So this little group will go pick up a an advancement. Uh, not an advancement, an enhancement. I don't remember its name. Cage extension. Whatever. Yeah. So I'll take this one. I will take the other cage. Now, remind me, this cage means... Mm -hmm. That one sick is okay? No, this cage means that, um, yeah, I need to check the rules. I don't remember sure. a lot of cages. Now, you may notice that I'm not actually placing things on the board after the buying and going out and doing stuff phase. There's a phase where you actually have to place the cages and place the animals. Yeah. These are semi, these are permanent till the next reordering phase. Yeah, so the cage that you just took is called the experimental cage, and it says um, in its basic state, this cage has strength one, anti magic one, and cancels out one disease need. Mm -hmm. However, this cage can adapt dynamically, as indicated by the asterisk symbol. You may double any one aspect of the cage and reduce the other two to zero. That is actually quite useful. Yeah. Are you sure you're not changing your mind? No. Okay, good. Okay, um, so now we're down to two. Yep. And you're the first player, so you go first. Yeah, so I think I will grab some uh, vegetables uh, and I'll place them in my storage area for vegetables. Your turn. Right. I needed food as well. Mm hmm. Boy. Oi. How can I feed him now? I can't give him meat. I could, however, uh, start using the new mechanic with an envelope that goes here. Right. So let me explain. You just went to correctly. the right. So you just went to the facilities area, which mm -hmm. means that you can do this right now mm -hmm. if you want. Oh, but I need food for that ahead of time. 
Right. Um, but you could also activate this ability during phase five if you want, or six. Can I activate it twice? Yes. Okay, so in theory, what I want to do is first of all, uh, you're not gonna compete me for me. You're not that mean. Okay, I'm not changing my mind. Sure, okay, your turn. And I'm passing. Okay, I instead pass, stay at home and generate money for you. Yep. So I take the two meat. Yes. Okay, uh, I can activate the meat factory at phase five, right? The, the processing thingy. Um, yes. So not now. It's, it's here. It's after you've um, um, executed all of the cards. Okay, sure. You'll have to, yeah, you'll have to manage. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now we install everything. So mm -hmm. I'll decide to install this one over here. And this one over here. I'm taking additional here. cards. Okay, now that we've installed everything, we take cards according to our pets. So you take cards according to your pet. I did. Yep. And now you assign cards to the pet. So you need to assign two greens, one yellow, and one purple. Um. Okay, so... Is this the phase where I can use this to make a generic canned food? No, it's uh, this After? stage. At this stage where you see the imp icon with the manure. Mm, so the plant is not actually useful for me now. No. No. Ooh la la. That is a bit of an issue. I'm going to have um, unfulfilled needs. Mm -hmm. That's a shame, but it is something that we need to demonstrate. So that's okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I need another purple, right? Yes. Well, the cage can handle the purples. The only issue is the food. Okay, so, so let's go let's go over according them. to this handy dandy chart. So first we evaluate the food. Which I only fed it once. It was hungry once, you didn't I feed don't it actually. Have food. And so you have to put a uh, sadness or misery token on it. Is this the one? Yes. Okay. And this one says that if the number of misery tokens on it is ever equal to its age, which in your case is three, because there are three um, bars there on the card itself. It commits... Uh, yeah, it dies. It goes to a happy place. Yeah, honey. it dies. Happy. And whenever it dies, you need to lose points. That's okay. Next. Don't die, little clammy. It poops. It poops. And so you add a poop token to its cage. From what I recall, this is special because one of its poops contains gold. It's a pearl. It poops pearls. Yes. It yep. has a magical outburst, which the cage can absorb. Because it has one anti-magic strength. And it's sick. Now, the sickness rules mean that if it has uh, two poop tokens or more, so you combine the sickness plus the manure tokens. And if it's greater than two, you need to add sickness. But in your case, the cage absorbs one sickness. Right. And in so, any case, it's not more than two. Yeah. So that's fine. Okay. So these needs have been fulfilled. Yep. They go to the respective discard piles. And uh, we move on to the next stage. Now, these pets age by one, right? Because they go up. Yeah, yeah, you're you're jumping. Oh, sorry. So we so we um, we uh, uh, resolved the needs. Mm -hmm. If there was a competition, it would have happened right now. Yep. If there was a customer, it would have ha We were able to sell to it after the, to the customer. Then we discard the cards. Then, if we have um, um, imps that do nothing, we can do something with them. So the options are either to remove up to two um, manure tokens, mm -hmm. get a gold, or do the activate the facility. But I need an imp to activate the facility? No, this okay. one you just need one um, meat. So I'll activate the facility. Right. And so what is our generic canned meat? 
Oh, we have canned food, and it even says food on it. Yes. So it goes here to your... Because it never ages. Right. It never ages. We'll talk about aging in a second. Uh, yep. Yeah, so that's it. Um, so my imp will, I think, clean up this Ooh. token. Yeah. Okay. Next. Food ages. Um, so the, again, not going through the steps. The, the <laughs> monsters age. Yes. I aged those in the store. Again, you're jumping. Just age your, your uh, fine. Your imp. My pearl is being aged. Your monster, yes. And then food ages. Mm -hmm. So vegetables can that. hold up to three rounds, and meat can hold up to two rounds. Mm -hmm. And then return all of our imps back. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now, we start a new round. So you're the start round player. Marker. The round marker moves. We reveal the next covered competition. And the next potential And the next client. potential customer, correct. Um, we move the um, pets here. Mm -hmm. and, and we, we place... age them by one. And oh, but before we actually do that, mm -hmm. we need to move the dummy um imps yep so this one moves here covering up one of the cages this one moves here covering up the um and um enhancements space let's see this one moves here which will not allow us to go to the immigration office this one will move here doing nothing this one will move here which means that we won't get uh, vegetables this one will move here which means that this one gets one minus one um vegetable and this one will move here to be explained later. And this one will move here to be explained later. And now we refill the board. So you put uh, two, but we actually need to put three here because both of these are now um, available. So we have lots and lots and lots of, of new... Um, I can't buy all those pets. Yes. No one Some can. of them are going... No, I... You don't need to put that because he's here. And you just return the advancement to the monster's uh, uh, bag. Right, we need three here. Actually, two, because he's standing here. Okay. Yeah. What? It's in the pet. We need two artifacts. You can't allow them to, yeah. to go to the happy place. Okay, so this space does not get vegetables because of the dummy player. This space gets only one vegetable because he's here and one meat. And this space gets two meat. Right? Uh huh. This is fine and dandy. This is fine and dandy. Oh, I knew theoretically this moves to this card pile. This moves here. We'll talk about it later. And there's a new facility. This facility... Always the leftmost gets changed? That doesn't make sense. No, the topmost. Unless we bought one and then they move to the top. Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, so shouldn't it be in the bottom? Yeah, you're right. Thanks. Um, this uh, facility allows us to pay one coin to remove two manure tokens. That's nice. Just saying. Um... So we did all that. Wait, that's a manure token? This one? Yeah. Yes, so that's why, the basic... why does it appear on the processed uh, that food? That was the game's way of saying this is a okay, processed... Okay, that makes more sense than what yeah. I was thinking. Yep. Onwards. Yep. Uh, what do I want to say now? Oh, yeah. We need to... Um, I get one coin. Allocate coins. So I, you get one and I get two because I'm second player. Yes. And I think that is it. It was difficult, but we managed. Oh, and I wanted to say what these two artifacts do, actually. Mm -hmm. One is a fancy hat. I think it gives you half a point. So the fancy hat, called fancy hat, that's interesting, can be assigned to any group. You immediately, you may immediately assign it to any waiting group. The fancy hat stays with the imp that is wearing it. If an imp is in its group, runs home with it. Uh, uh, wait. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's half a uh, group size. 
Okay, that's what I remembered, yeah. Yep. And the gift box, uh, when you receive the gift box, you may choose an artifact currently owned by another player, mm -hmm. Boo. Um, from now until the end of the game, the gift box is an exact copy of that artifact. Alternatively, you can choose no artifact, wait until another player gains an artifact you want, then a copy it. Okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad at all. All right, let me just do this real quick. Suffering tokens are something that they do not want, right? Like at the end of the round, we have a client who will give us minus one point for suffering. So minus it's not a client, it's a competition. I'm talking about... So we're not at that round, right? Oh, right, right, right. I'm sorry. This so at round two, yeah, at round two, we'll have a competition mm -hmm. and it will score by pairs of playfulness and magic. Mm -hmm. um, and he doesn't want, um, he doesn't want mon um, pooping needs. So as a need, not a token, a card, not a token. Got it. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. My largest is two. Yeah, as mine as well. Yours, so I start. Yep. Oh, actually, I re I didn't arrange them correctly. Right. So mine is three, actually. That's fine. Then yep. you can start. So I'll go and take a pet. Very good, honey. And strategically, I'm looking for pets that will have magic to them because I see that it's something that will be... So valid. this one... So I think I'll take, actually this one because it has also a lot of uh a lot of oh you're right so i'll take this one okay because it has one yellow and one purple and i think it'll be it'll come in handy um this one specifically um the sick uh pet um handles all sickness mm -hmm. sickness needs Yes. But if I don't assign it a sickness, then it gets sick. So it's sort of the opposite. It wants to be sick for some reason. Uh, sure. Sure. Some children like to be miserable. Yes. You go. Okay. I'm going to take another cage. And I'm going to take the magic cage. Sure. Is it my turn? Yes, it is. If you have a two. Oh, yeah. no, I have a two as well, so it is my turn. Didn't you just play a two? Yeah, but... So you played a two, oh, now, now I play. But I have another two. I know, I have a two as well. We right, rotate. Right, got it. Yeah. Sure. So I'll take this two and get another monster, pet. You get to choose? What do you mean choose? You skip the group. Yeah, they're not really ordered. Got it. Doesn't matter. Um, no, I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, you. you're right, you're right. Okay, so I think I'll take this. No, these are this not one. ordered, right? Oh, you because you put it here, but you still have access to all six slots, Oh, right? yeah, you may be right. I think you're right. You should okay. go there. Okay, your turn. I'm going to take the playful hungry one. Remind me, what does this do? So this one says... These are all expansion pets, so we're not exactly sure what some of them do, but they're adorable. Look at those big eyes. Okay. That's the Soulful Eyed Lemur. Mm -hmm. And he says, each pair of the of like needs, mm -hmm. so icon-wise, uh, assigned to a neighboring pet, automatically satisfied one need of that type assigned to the Soulful Eyed Lemur. So if, for example, you put it here, and here there is a, a pet with two hunger, mm -hmm. one of the hungers for this dude is automatically satisfied. Mm -hmm. As long as it's satisfied for the other one. It doesn't matter how the other pet's needs are met, or even if they are met at all. Okay? Got it. This is going to be complicated, but I got it. It watches you eat, and its hunger is satisfied. My turn? Yes. Okay, he's less cute now. <laughs> he's I'm a stalker. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I think I'll go and... Let's see. I think I'll go and grab the artifacts. So... Okay, Close. that's a thing. 
you get you get both of them, right? Yeah. So I'll do this, and I'll do this. Okay. So now I have a one. Remind me, I need to reallocate. Oh, you have pen. ones now? Because I yeah. I'm still at twos. Can take another two, honey. Yep. Sorry. I think I'll go to. I don't have money. That's a shame. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll go here as well. No. It's not that bad of an idea. I have to be honest. You know what? I'll go to the black market mm -hmm. and take the this artifact. No. You're such a meanie me. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted the veggies, but yeah, go for the it. The veggies? This one? Yeah, I don't have food. Mm. And there's no vegetables. Fine, fine. I'll give it to you. Really? Yeah, I'll take food from here. That's fine. I think the 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 green yeah <laughs> asparagus goes to yeah, the left side. I'm I'm trying to tame myself. Okay, in case it wasn't clear, I don't. I need to. Oh, I need to pay an extra coin to use this. So first of all, I need to go here. Yes. And then I remove a coin from this. Okay, so you went to the. Future Seer. Right, Fortune Teller. Yeah. So you get, first of all, to grab four cards just for Which this round. I you will have to return, to return later. Right. You get to look at one of the competitions or the customers. So that gives you extra information. Ooh, upside down. Never mind. Yeah. And you get to um, remove one of these gold tokens. So that'll be cheaper to get. So that they won't cost anything. Correct. Yes. So you did that. Yes. Yes, I did. And I, I pass. So it's your turn. And you go to the black market, and you choose one of these stacks, and basically it cancels out the other ones. And then we refill this afterwards, or no, is it this good? does not get refilled? Oh. So forever, this will be empty. Okay, that's odd, but yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Not so much of a black market. Yeah. So okay, do you so want to do anything else? Two, I, I'm checking. I might need a potion. I'm just sharing my thoughts. I might need a potion and it's available. And I might want to bribe the judges, but I'm also comically low on gold. Yeah. The potion stays with me, right? I don't return it at the end of the round. Right. You only return it when you use it. Okay, so I'm going to go, go get to a potion. You get a potion. And he stays here. So a potion is a is a is a wild card. It basically yes. can fulfill any need. Mm -hmm. It's not really a potion, you just, you know, put a blanket over it right, and tell it to go to, to sleep. Go to sleep. Like you do with real children. Yes. Anywho, I have another question before we start the actual competition. Can I reallocate them from Cages. Yes. But they're never outside of a cage. They have to move to a different cage. The mm -hmm. poo stays. Yes, but I can put a monster in a poopy cage. Yes. Okay, got it. Sure. Okay. So you're right. Now we need to allocate monsters, pets, to their cages. So let me... I get one gold for not using him, right? Uh, in a second. Not, not now. Okay, sure. Okay, so we installed whatever we purchased this round, mm -hmm. and now we drop cards according to the needs. Wow, you have a lot of needs. May Ooh. God yes. help me. So I need an additional two green, three greens. Yes. I need an additional five yellows. Holy moly. Okay. Ooh la la, so that's five yellows. I need only one purple. Yep. And I don't have a need for reds. Yes. Okay. And now you can assign cards from your entire hand. Uh, you, you should do that as well yes. while I'm I will draw thinking of how to get myself out of this mess that I should have myself purples, in. Two purples, one Jesus. yellow, two greens, and one red. This goes into my hand, and now I need to assign cards back to the pets. Okay. 
And I'm going to remind us all that at the end of this round, we'll have a competition that wants that give us points for every pair of playfulness and magic. Mm -hmm. Three points and one point for every unpaired magic or playfulness. And you choose one monster that goes to said competition, Correct. right? Yes. One, two, and hmm. Oh, he has to. Oh, no. That's not good. That is not good. Um, bummer. Hmm. You're gonna have to uh, watch over me. Yeah, I'll do that in a second. By the way, once per turn, every time he poops, I get a gold. Yes, whenever he poops, he poops gold. And when I, when you clean the the poop, you get the gold. Um, sure. That makes sense. Are you ready? Um, very, very, very theoretically. May God help me. Okay, uh, are we following what I'm doing? Yes, we are. Yes. So let's... Okay, um, so first of all... Yep. Uh, I feed him for yes. the hunger, and then he poops gold. So these are satisfied. Since I satisfied two greens, and he watched him eat and poop, then he has hmm. one green satisfied. So that's not the way it works, right? Yeah, do for, share. Yeah, do share. for every pair of icons, not so, the color of the card. Okay, so... This is two food. Yes. And I gave him two food and I'm taking back yeah. the gold poop. Yep. Okay. And now this has been fulfilled. So he is, you, do, you still need to, wait, I'm confused. Where are These his are cards? Two, this, this goes to him. Sure. Two greens. Yeah. Two yeah. greens. Yeah. Eight twice. He watched him eat twice. Mm -hmm. So he should have one green fulfilled. Right, but where is his green card? I need to give him a card as well. Yes. Even though he doesn't do that. The card is fulfilled, but you need to have the card. So give him a... a, a right, so, so I can give him this card. Yes. And Not this I don't card, have this to, is anger. But this is a green card. No, no, only the icons matter. Not the card color. Are you sure about yes. that? Yes, yes, yes. I see it on the card. So I need to have three cards of the same icon? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, having three cards of the same icon is a lot. Okay. Needs. You can see it here. It's the X is the um, icon itself. If you assign to disease needs... It's neat. Right, right. That's why they gave disease as an example. You are uh, correct. Uh, what, what's wrong? No, I didn't uh, plan this out that way because I misunderstood. So I may have to change a few things. Okay. The cage can fulfill these Do you want a minute to think while I'll do me? Um, yes. Remind me an imp... Playing can fulfill one playfulness need. Yes. For both of them. One playfulness is already fulfilled. And the other one, if I don't have enough imps... Um, suffers sadness. Right. So what I could do is I could... Okay, okay I'll, I'm going to let sure, you think go for and it. I'll do this. All right, so for this monster... He wants to play, so I'll assign this imp to play with both of them. 
he wants to he has a magical outburst but it it's uh dealt with by the cage and he has one anger which is dealt with by the cage um he, however he didn't have any um sickness or yeah sickness which means he does actually get sick or sad in this case okay this little monster wants to play which is being dealt with anger and poop and this specific cage, as you can see here, um, sort of takes care of the poop, so I don't have to actually place a manure token on here. So all of them have been fulfilled. Are you... Yes. Does it, does, do things work for you now? Yes, yes. Okay, so he ate twice. He watched him eat, which fulfilled one of his food needs without having to actually feed him. Yes. That's how it works. Yes. That's what we said. I gave him a potion for one of the playfulness because he needs free yellow cards. Sure. He poops once. That's another playfulness need. A yellow card, you mean? Yes. Eh, you never know what he did with the poop. And the cage can hold one magical outburst. Sure. Now, in his case, there's another playfulness that we did not cover, but there's an imp I placed here, and he's playing with two of them while they're playing with magic and poop. Yes. I also need to discard one card because I used a potion. Yes. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. So now he had one of his foods fulfilled by watching one magical outburst and one playing with the imp. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Praise Jeebus, that was complicated. Okay, don't move anything. Don't move anything. Right, 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 right. We have a competition. Um, yes, we now have a competition. Like I said, the competition wants playfulness and magic. So, um, I'm choosing to uh, send this uh, monster. Mm -hmm. I have a single pair. Mm -hmm. So that means I get... Three points. Yes. And uh, that is it. What's with... Which uh, monster are you sending? I'm sending this one because it doesn't have poop tokens. Poop icons. Needs, right? Right. So, uh, same thing. Exactly yep. the same thing. So, we both score the same. What happens in this case? So, uh, first place earns six. Second place earns two. But because we are tied for first, each one of us gains five doesn't really matter. Four. So it says one less than that. Um, okay, sure. Number. Okay. I'm not and, arguing with the game. Yes. Now we just discard all cards that we've been um, assigning to pets. And in my case, I have to round down to four, one of each, because I had potions. Yep. And I had the uh, soothsayer and... Fortune teller. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you done? No, I still need to round down. This was an intense turn. I know. Very good for you. This goes back. Was it? Was it? I don't know. Okay, and one rage. Okay. Yeah, okay. You can discard those. Sure. So I open up this one? No. 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 Okay. I age something? Okay. Let, maybe you let me. No. Ah, just an no, idea. No, I have to do something. Otherwise okay. Don't do anything, please. Thank you. Do you have extra imps? No, I do not. Do you want to use this one? Yes, I do. Okay, you see? You return that. Get your... It's on your side of the map. Though you could give me a couple just in case. Sure. Um, very good for you. Okay, now, age your pets. Now, this one has two arrows, so this ages twice. Yeah. They age fast, or they get more needs when they're young. Whereas this one only ages once. All right. Age your food. I don't have any food to age. Return your imps. Um, where am I missing one? Here. Okay. 
Reveal the new competition and customer. In this case, both of them. Because it's the next round's customers, actually. Sure. Yep. Okay. Move the dummy um, imps one step. Oh my, okay. And now refill the board. So this one sadly goes to a happy place and a meat needs to move here. This one ages by one. Yes. Moves here. Because they're in the store and I refill free. Um, so actually no, because we want to be able to buy them. So we just refill one. Yeah, I don't remember the rules by heart, but let's say we refill one just so that we'll have something to play with next turn. Okay. Um, we need to refill these two, and we need to refill this one. I don't know, you said that when an imp is on a placeholder, we do one less. Yeah, you're right. So that's what I'm, I'm following yeah. rules-wise. Yep. Put an advancement here. Enhancement. Um, put two artifacts here. Mm -hmm. I'll do the um, the food. Yes. So that's one. That is three. No, no meat because this one's standing over here, and one additional meat goes here. Okay. Well, we can't buy it. Oh right. So it doesn't matter. True. Okay. Um. Wait. Why did you say one less meat? Uh, because this imp is standing here, there's one right, less meat right. here. Okay. I think we're ready. Okay, so now we I'm the first player, so I get one coin. And I get, get two. two. Um, in terms of the artifacts, this one, when you get it, you need to decide whether you want a red book or a purple book. Mm -hmm. And you just grab a card, and from now on, your hand size is increased by one. Yes, and this one says that you can clean poops in two adjacent cages even if those cages are full so it says remove up to two manure tokens even from occupied cages yes so it's always two manure but this one says that you are now able to do it from occupied cages because you yeah. can just shove it and pick it up okay shovel it out yes all right now basically my strategy is to just look at the needs that I'm going to be screwed with and try and fill those up quickly. Yeah. Um, let's see. Interesting. I'm, I'm just sharing with the viewers, but this is going to be a rough turn for me because I have a lot of needs on both monsters and I don't want them to be depressed and I do want to sell at least one so fingers crossed <laughs> um, I think I am ready as am I similar setup to last time mm -hmm. okay. I have two I you have two, have two well. in your first player yep. so you start okay so I am going to whoop, I am going to um, I think I have enough. Okay, I am going to go here mm -hmm. and pick up, I think mm, let's say this enhancement, which says that I can put a coin and then just satisfy one of them. I need those artifacts. Now, oh, as a reminder, from I next turn, one. yeah, from next turn, I have to choose whether I get an extra card that's red. You or... have to actually choose it right now. Sure. So I'm going to choose uh, the magic. Sure. So this is upside and do I get the card now? Yes. Okay, so I get the card now and from now and forever. Yep. I have one extra purple card. Yep. I'll do I'll copy you with my gift box. Mhm. Mm and do you also have to take the purple? No. Nope. Okay. I just That's nice. Two. Yep. 
So it's my turn again, right? Yes. Okay. I would like to go to the... Um, we didn't get a new building. We should get a new building. Building? Oh, right. And we we'll also need theoretically, to... Theoretically, this moves here, this yeah. moves here. Maybe we'll... Oh, we can go there. Yeah, we could. So the new facility is the recruitment uh, office where you can pay a coin mm -hmm. um, and return one of your imps from the board. So when you go here, right now we, you can't, but when you go here, you can pay a coin and also during sure phase five. Yeah, because he's standing this here. This was taken last turn as well. No, he was here. Okay, then my bad. I was sure it was taken. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn, right? Yes. Okay. I think I will go... I'm taking a risk. I'll go here and pick up an accessory. Yes. An accessory is just acts as, a, as another bar mm -hmm. for all intents and purposes. It allows me to grab more cars, mm -hmm. but also fill it more also needs. It also looks like a bar, so that's nice. Yeah. So I think I'll pick up the um, magic one. And mm -hmm. for now, I'll just put it aside and decide what to do with, with it later. You also need to take one imp home. Right. And this one also allows me to take one imp back home. So let's say I'll move him back home. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. That's it. Um, I'm thinking about what to do. That's a meat extension. And this one says that for magic, for cage purposes, Imps block two rather than one, right? This artifact? Yes. Yeah, it bumps up. You, you just basically take two imps and you put them on numbers and they bump up that number by one. Two imps? Yeah, it allows you to take two imps mm -hmm. from your, you know, from on, on, um, that you haven't used and put them on numbers mm -hmm. and basically strength or magic, anti-magic, and they bump up that magic by one. Okay. I don't think I need this at the moment, but I do want a monster. A pet. A pet. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to take this pet. Okay. And it's your turn. I only have ones now. Oh, you also only have yeah. ones. I'll go here and pick up. You need to pay a coin, no, don't you? No, it doesn't have one. Why doesn't it have one? Uh, I only removed. Because, yeah, well, because we're playing the standard length game, mm -hmm. special rule, this one doesn't get a coin. If we were playing the long game, sure. whatever. Sure. Yeah. I was just wondering because the yeah. others do. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, I need food. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick up all of those. Free food? Yes. And I think mm -hmm. I will pass. Pass. I will also. No, I'll move here. Sorry. No problem. And get up, get my relatives home. They're not available to me this round. But next one they but will. Next one they will. I uh, will pass. Pass, and I'll pass as well. And that's okay. it. Yeah. Okay, now install whatever you want to install. So, I think here, yep. Okay. And grab cards. Grab okay, your cards Okay, so first. I need one, two. Just three, tell me how many purples? Four, four purples. Okay, here you go. How many greens? One, two, three, four, five, six. Here you go. How many reds? Zero. How many yellows? Yellows are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, here you go. Okay. This is going to be fun. So these are two. This is one, two, three, four. Now, the only reason I'm abusing myself like that with this the pets, one, I usually two. wouldn't take free, is because I intend to sell this turn. One, In two, case that yellows. wasn't clear. It was clear to you. Okay. And now we assign cards to pets. So. Oh. 
Add one, two. Yeah. Now this one acts as a purple one. Great. And we want them, so the customer wants them to be playful, to be hungry, to not be angry, and to not have sickness tokens on them. Mm -hmm. Suffering. Suffering, yes, correct. And we want as, and this competition looks at all of our pets. And so, just wants magic. And just wants magic. So that's, let's say, one. Two. Let's see, I put this one over here, and then hmm. So this will go here either way; it doesn't matter. This one. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's do this like this one. One. To another yellow. Oh, I actually can use this. Hmm. So, but I don't have any more magic. Hmm, that's a shame. That is a shame. Okay. Um. Yes. And wait, that's one, that's two. This will go here. I'm sorry for being quiet. This will go here. But this is uh, a lot. This will go here. This will go here. This will go here. And this will go here. Yep. I could have used this one, which I forgot. That's fine. So I have one fat pet fulfilled. And I just need to make a decision over here. This one also needs free playfulness, so that's okay. I'm just counting them to make sure that I have everything right, but I think I do. I think I do. Okay, can we start with me? Because I'm going to mess something up. No. Yes, I will. Okay, so let's start with this pet. It will have one rage that's absorbed by the cage. Sure. And one magic that's absorbed by the cage. Yep. In addition, it will eat once and be sick once. Yes. Eight once, sick once. For needs, fulfilled. Covered. Yep. Okay, good. Moving on to the next one. It will want to play twice, which will be covered by these two imps. Sure. Great. And it will have a magical outburst, which is absorbed by the cage. Now, this cage, I can shift its stats so I can have it absorb two magical outbursts. Mm -hmm. If it has no rage and no sickness. And it'll poop twice. No, it'll poop once and eat twice. So that's two at eight. And once it pooped. Okay. It's a lot of poop. On it, like like really on it. Okay, so this is uh, the second pet, and this is the third pet who will be, do I have any, this is my deck, right? Can I replace this with anything? No, I cannot, so. That's fine. Magic outburst to the cage, a second magic outburst to the cage. Sickness, which does nothing. Poop and playfulness, it has two imps. We said that imps can play with two. So it'll poop once 
And that is it. They're all fulfilled. Very good. My turn. Mm -hmm. uh, this little pad has its two magical items fulfilled. This one by the coin, this one by the cage. Yes. Um, Cygnus, uh, sorry, let's do this by... Uh, uh, it wants to poop, so it'll poop. And then it wants to play, so that's covered. It has the thing I said, no, no, no. Sickness, that's just one sickness plus one poop, so that's fine. And that's it. Um, yes, and it, it wanted to eat. I forgot to mention that, so that's fine. And this one, um, let's see, wants to eat, so it got fed. It wants to poop, but it's taking care of the... Oh, not that it matters, but I... I could have I could have uh, fulfilled the food by, with this. I could have fulfilled the poo with this. Um, Optimize for no, magic. No, that's fine. Um, anger is taken care of by the cage. Now sickness. I count the number of sickness cards plus the poop tokens. It's not above two, so I'm fine. So that's it for this um, pet as well. Okay. Now that we've done that, we go on to the competition. Yes, I think I have one, two magic, and three, four, and five. I have five magic. Okay, so you get five points. Yes. I sadly only have two magic. Okay, so since we're two players, I get six. Yes. Which puts me here, and you get two. Yes. Which puts you here. Yes. Okay, very good. So that's it for the competition. And now we get to sell. So each customer will want to buy at most one pet from each of us. Do you right. want to sell first or me? Yeah, uh, you can go first. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So um, let's see how many selling points um, this one gets me. So he'll give me two points for this and he'll give me one point for the food. Mm -hmm. So that's a total of three points. Mm -hmm. and um, it reduces one point because of the sickness. So, yeah, the suffering one. Mm -hmm. So I'm at two points. Um, that means... Wait, which pet are we looking at? This one. This one. So one for suffering, and that's it. That's it. There's no rage there. No. So that means I have two selling points. Okay. Now, the default when you sell... Is times is two. Times two. So I get four points for selling him. Yes. Now, in terms of money, I get the money that is printed here, plus one money for every accessory. So that's a total of four money. Okay. Uh, me, on the other hand, I have a two playfulness, which is four selling points, and two food, which is an additional two. So that's six selling points. Minus one for the suffering, so that's five selling points. So I get ten points from this, right? Okay. So you had five? Yeah. Good. It had no rage. Yeah. Okay. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Now I sell it for the number allotted here, plus one for each accessory. No accessories, so I get four coins. Very good. And he and his suffering yes. are taken out. Mm -hmm. That's the happy place? Yeah. Okay. We should add them some toys over there. Yeah. And That's uh, it. that was it. Now we discard our cards. So discard your assigned cards. I'll and now just sort them meanwhile. Yeah. And any available imp can do stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I will choose for this little imp to make me a buck, I think. I will choose to clean poop, but I want a reminder. I get to choose a spot and two adjacent cages, right? So no, you just, the, that imp mm -hmm. can clean up two poop tokens from any cage that is unoccupied, but because you have the shovel, it can also be occupied. But so I don't have to pick which cages, it just mm -hmm. all of them yep. are available to me for the yes. cleaning of the poop. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to clean these two. Yep. So I can get the money. Yes. The pearls. Yes. 
That's and it. that is it. Okay, next. Can uh, I... I cannot reassign pets to different cages, right? You can. When? Um, so now they have been unassigned for all intents and purposes. Right, right, right. So now I can move it. Yeah. You don't have to decide now. It's fine. Okay. I think uh, this is a better idea than I sure. had initially. All right. So now we age our uh, pets. Mm-hmm. So this one ages by one and now has a rage. And this one ages by two and will now need to eat a lot. Okay. Now we age our food. So this goes away. Mm-hmm. Um, and now we return our imps back home. Okay. And uh, we start a new round. So we're now at round four. You're the starting player. We, we can now move... see the next competition. Yeah. We move the dummy imps. Mm-hmm. So this one goes here and this one. Yeah, this should be three away, not two away. So he should be here. There's There's been a mistake. One, two, three, that's fine. One. Yeah, he ages one and move there. One, two, three, yeah. So this one goes away. We didn't kill any pets this turn, right? Nope. So no additional food tokens. Yeah. So no need to put anyone here. There's a cage here, three here, nothing here. Here, we do need to pay to put one of these and one of these go here. Um, nothing here, and I'll just why just one meat and not three? Wow, well, yeah, you're right. It's three, you're right. Okay, no, sorry, I'm just. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. So totally right. I need food. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and a new facility. The new facility is the psychiatrist. So you can um, um, put a imp here. That'll allow you to remove one mutation or one suffering token mm -hmm. from your pet. Okay. Are we ready or do we still need to do something setup wise? Um, there should be a, a cage here, but that's it basically. And an attachment. Oh, no, no. attachments. Yes. Okay. All right. So, so my top priorities are food and the competition is for every set of free icons. Is that what I'm understanding? So the competition is for, so you get two points mm -hmm. for every distinct need. Right, of which there are five. Yes, including no, the including the the potion one, yes. Oh the potion is also one. Yes. Eight. That's nice. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty much ready. Just one no second. I will admire the new pets meanwhile, because the, the murder unicorn is very cute. It uh it has an additional rage, and I think that rage satisfies its playfulness because it's a horrible thing. I also noticed that all the new pets have free needs by default, mm -hmm. which is... Uh, Interesting. Yes. It also makes them more difficult to manage, but it's still nice. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Yes, I am. Okay, so my largest group is three and a half. Uh, mine is two, so you can do two turns before yeah. I even move. Yes. Okay, so um, I'll start by mm, I'll start by grabbing a little pet. Okay, honey. And I will choose to get. Um, this pet, um, this one says that 
whenever he gets angry. Mm-hmm. Sorry, whenever someone else gets angry, he is, his playful need is um, fulfilled. Um, or the other way around, I think. When it, whenever he gets angry, other monsters' playfulness are fulfilled. I think that's it. So that's one mon- uh, pet. The other Only pet- if they exceed and break her cage. Ah. Uh, mm. they, they phrased it nicely with, although Pony is nasty, she's also really fun when she tries to escape. Mm. For each point by that's which fine. her angers exceed... The cage? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. One need to play for every other cage. Yes. All of them is automatically satisfied. So it's not for her, it's for others. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So that's one. The other one, I think, will grab... Yeah. I think it'll grab another pet. And I think I'll take... I think I'll take... This one, though it's really beautiful. Okay. Now we're at twos. Yes, which I have, and I'm the starting player. So uh, no new artifacts, right? No. No new artifacts. Uh, I need food. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to rush to get food. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think. I, I hope, hope so. I really do. I do need a cage. And I think it's interesting. No, I'll take. I'm gonna uh, use this too instead. Sure. I think I'll take the um, anger one, the first one. Okay. Yep. Have your rage cage. I'm gonna rage use cage. these two imps to get the playful cage. Mm-hmm. I'm at one. Do you have another two? I'm only at once. Okay, so you go. I go first. I will bump myself up on the tracker. And that also means I have one of those actions now, right? You went here? Yeah. Okay, so I will have one canned food. Okay. Just one? Yes. Just one. Yep. Okay. The Remember that food. if you send him to a competition, that's plus one. Yes, yes, I will. Okay. I haven't used it yet, but yeah. I will. So, um, I'll get the food. Mm-hmm. Your turn. Um, I think I'm going to need them all for playfulness. So I'm going to have... I'll get a potion. I'm not passing. I'm getting a potion. Mm-hmm. Thank you, honey. I'll get two points in the competition. See what good does that do. Hopefully a lot, passing with the others too. Yeah, I'm passing. Okay, so how many cards do I give you? Let's start with purples. Okay, so that's one purple. Well, lucky you. Greens? Uh, one, two, three. Mm-hmm. And I see five reds, or am one, I two, wrong? Three, four, five reds. Good luck with that one. Thank you. Playfulness? One, two. two. Okay. Now, for me, I have uh, one, two, three purples. I also have four plus one, that's five greens. Jesus. And one red and three yellows. Okay. Let's begin, honey. Yes. Let us, Let be- us begin. begin. I'm just sorting my cards first because it's rather taxing otherwise. Okay, let's start with the food. I think I can manage.
Wow. Oh, that's what? That doesn't make sense. Oh, Did I give you the wrong one. number? No, no, no. Give myself. No, that's fine. And now another one is this one. So this, 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 this. Two greens. So it's gonna be. Uh, let's see. Um, so this one, and another green. Let's say this one. And here, um, it's relatively easy. It's just this one and a green. So I'll have to move one of these one over here and one of these one over here. And that's it, right? Why do I have an extra? Yes, because yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's on me. So let's do this instead. Yes. Okay, I'm done. I'm getting there. Okay. But not quite. I just have a tiny issue with anger that I'm thinking about. How do I resolve? Mm -hmm. I have a potion, so, you know, worst case scenario, it resolves itself. Mm hmm. And I think that that's what's going to happen. Okay. I'm going to potion one of the needs here. So let's see, that's uh, four So anger. you're doing it yourself? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so which... which? Uh... Let's start with this pet. Okay. Okay, so it has a true playfulness needs, which will be resolved by these two imps. Sure. They're going to be here entertaining it. Mm -hmm. It has two food, which will be resolved by this two food. It has one anger that's absorbed by the cage and one poopy poop. And it has poopy pooped. Sure. Okay. We're there. Uh, the cage absorbs two magic. Which, this one. Okay. We move to the second pet. The okay. cage absorbs two magic. Okay. I feed it twice and it can eat whatever it wants. Okay. Including artifacts, apparently, which is interesting. Yes. Mm hmm. It's sick once, but it doesn't matter because sickness plus poop does not exist. Yep. Go it's over fine. Two. And I also have this rage, which I could not fulfill, so I potion it. Sure. Okay, and these are my leftover cards. This one gets discarded because it was not fulfilled. That's it. Okay. And that was it. Okay. Okay. So for me, uh, it uh, poops, sadly, and it... Why sadly? Because there's two now. Aww. And it wants to play, and nobody's around to play with it, so it also... Gets a little bit sad. This one, um, let's see, one steep three times. One time is covered by the cage and twice the food is here. Mm -hmm. Next up, Pooh is covered by the cage. Playfulness is covered by him. No magic, no, uh, one anger covered by the cage. No sickness. This one, anger is covered by the cage. Pooh needs to be added. And, and playfulness, playfulness by the imp. the imp. Very good, honey. Okay. So which one are you sending to your competition? So I will be sending the fishy fish to the competition. In terms of points, that's two points per distinct icon. So that's one, two, three, four distinct icons. So that's eight points. So I'm on ten. Very good, honey. You? I am also on four icons. I'm sending uh, the lemur. 
Yep. And I only have uh, four, so... Wait, discovered what? Doesn't matter, it's an icon. Yeah, but I'm wondering if I can swap them, um, and then no, I cannot. It doesn't matter, it covered the green. I don't have any other greens that are useful, and he's not allowed to poop. Okay. So... So you're... Yes. So you're an eight, right? Yeah. So I get six points. So you have one, two, six, yep. and I get one, two. Yep. These reset. And now we get to sell to customers. I think I'll pass. You will. One, two, wait. One, two, three, four. Actually, I won't. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll sell this dude. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. So five times two, that's 10. So that's 10 points for me. I have four of the icons that he's in. And I'll get three coins. I have four selling points, uh, two for hunger, one for poop, and one for anger. So I get eight points. Very good. And I get the cost of the pet, which is four coins. Mm-hmm. Happy place? Mm-hmm. Did you get your money? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm not sure, so sure you won the competition. I sent this pet and it had two. We're tied. Mm. Okay. We're tied. I'm at 12 just like you are. Uh, so you were supposed to get five instead of six, mm -hmm. and I was supposed to get an additional one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. I completely forgot about that, and you yeah. reminded me last round. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, all right, moving on. Discarding cards. Did you discard your cards? Um, I'm just discarding the food and everything. Sure. But... Uh, yes, I'm discarding them now. Okay. Next up is um, using unused imps, which I don't have any. Me neither. Okay, do you want to use one of these? Um, I will pay just one? Yes, just one. Just one. So I can pay a coin mm -hmm. to remove two poop tokens. Yes. So I pay a coin and I remove these two poop tokens, sure. which will give me a coin back. That's very nice. Yes, it is. And that is it. Okay. Now we age our pets. So age your pets. Mm -hmm. And now we handle the market. Um, and now you age your food, if you I have any. None. Now you take back your imps. Mm -hmm. Very good. I still have one missing. Here it is. And now we reveal the next. So, oh, you already revealed? No. No, I did not. Yep. So we can see the final competition. I can't see the arrows over here. Yeah. It was here and the other one I can't see. This Took care of the there. rest. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. We have a new facility which uh, can convert um, fruits into candy, which is good for food and playfulness, which is cool. But not both, right? No, no, both. Both, yep. okay. So you put the... Yes, I have. This, this is after we moved them? Did you move them first? I moved those. I didn't move no, those. No, right? Yet. Okay. Sorry. So here should be one less food. Two veggies here. No, wait. No, no. Zero, Zero. veggies here. Just and three. Three meat. Yeah, you can put them over here. Mm, right, and here we one. put one meat, and this one will join it soon. And this one has yeah. nothing. Yeah. Did you move these? Yes, those and those I have. Sure. So let's add one. So uh, this this is from last uh, round, yes. right? So this moves 
away. This and one ages here, by one, one ages and goes up. On, and then two go here. Mm -hmm. And Let then me an just set them. Mm -hmm. so, an, so an additional um, an, um, enhancement in one cage. This is interesting. This one ha is a different type depending on its age. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah, and it though, changes what it likes Why to one? Eat. I don't think pets are ever at one. They start at two. I'll check. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So he's a promo one. And I don't... Do you want to replace him? Yep. Okay. No, it just makes me wonder whether we have a rules mistake somewhere about the age of no. the pets. Because I remember them no. starting at two. Yeah. Then again, I could be wrong. So this is a carnivore and he's cute. Yes. So one more cage and one more enhancement, two um, artifacts, and that's it. That's so these are just This one, books. you can pay a coin and then... Remove one misery or one mutation. This isn't misery, this is poop. Poop? Yes. Okay. It looks gelatinized, but it looks like the poop icon. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, um, so we've done this. I'm the start player. One round before last. I get one coin, you get two. Mm hmm Okay. Take two. And off to the races we go. Is money worth anything at the end of the game? Yes, there's a competition at the end of the game for oh. it. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, books. That's nice. It is, actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not crucial, but it's very nice. Yes. So, I think... Let's do this and this. Like this and let's see if I do that, that would be nice. And this competition wants a lot of um, hmm. it wants a lot of uh, monsters, pets thing. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm losing that one hard. You can bribe the judges. I might. Yeah. I really might. Yeah. Someone's uh, hungry other than the pets? Yes, apparently. Um, okay. Reveal? Yes. Reveal. I'm not changing strategy as much in case you guys are following. Okay. But So I have four and a half, so I'll start. Oh, yeah. That's... And lot. I'll grab a pet. Mm-hmm. Go for and it. I'll choose, uh, doesn't really matter, because per pretty much the same. Choose this one. Okay, your turn. Okay, I will, no, it's your turn, you're at free. Right, um, so I think I'll go um, fine. Do I wanna do that, do I wanna do that? No, I want food. So I'll grab food from here. Okay, your turn. Your turn. I took a pet. Okay. I will go, I think, here to take this. An extension. In. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks. I will. I need food. Desperately need food. Mm hmm And lastly, I think um I'm better I am might as well do nothing. Yeah, I'll pass. I'm gonna take the artifacts. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's nice for you. And one is going to be a food card and the other is going to be a playfulness. So you mean a yellow and a green? Yes, a yellow and a green. Mm -hmm. Anything else with your imps? I'm still thinking about it. I'm wondering whether I should get another pet or not. 
I'll advance myself in the tracker, which will give me canned food, which is options, because I have a, a, a vegetarian and I only have meat. That's my main issue here. I think that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place the imp over here, mm. which will give me access to the factory. It's nice, yeah. So I have an additional Facility. canned food. Yeah. And that is it. The other two will be reserved. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So now we need to uh, put them in cages. Yes. So I think this one will move here. This one will move here. So I took three. I'm going to reshuffle Wait. this. Um, sure. No rush. I'm uh, giving us the need cards first. Yeah. No, so this is suffering. Yeah. That doesn't look like the other icons for suffering, but I'm not arguing with you. Yeah. No, because it really doesn't look like it. Mm. Okay, so I have my Jesus four foods. I also need four magic, which I took. And uh, thankfully that is it. Do you want to shuffle the yellows? Because you'll need them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I need, let's see, one um, purple. I will need one to three greens. Mm -hmm. I will need one, two, three, four reds. Two, three, four. And um, I will need one, two, three yellows. One, two, three. <clears throat> And now we allocate cards to pets and I will pay a coin to get rid of the suffering token and okay. And we want to uh, have as little mutations as possible, and we want pairs of food and magic. If we want to sell, yes. If we want to sell them. Oh, wait, the competition is it's minus just for, points for mutations. Right. Whereas the sellers don't want suffering, and they want. So this one wants anger and playfulness, that one wants and sickness. So let's see if we can do something about that. He also wants poop because he's a scientist. Ooh, yes. And scientists are okay with poop. Apparently. So let's see. If I'll do, uh, let's see, this one. What, 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 are you, what are you doing here? Oh, I could have used it. Damn it. Okay. So that's one and a playfulness. Oh, wait. So that's one. Two and sickness. You go, you can have the sickness. And you also want one and two. But I do want you to. She's kind of sad, kind of sad. Oh no! It's good. We can do this. That's great. So now I know that your need to play is fulfilled okay i'm ready i can start your i'm starting with the uh, unicorn rhinoceros with the blonde wig he wants to eat as well who's very cute so he will poop twice easy. oh no he's not allowed to be sick oh, i miscounted and this needs a yellow this which will do that 
Uh, this is quite this is this. aggravating. And but that's this the game. Is that it really is. Okay, I am. You can start. I'm still uh, thinking about how to manage. All right, this so let's let's uh right. So let's do their needs. This one, this dude wants to eat meat, so that's one meat. And he also wants to play, which is covered by the little pony. We'll get to that in a second. The pony uh, wants to be played with twice. What was my reasoning? So that's one playfulness. Hmm. Okay, fine, he's miserable, what can I do? Okay, um, and uh, he has two anger, one is taken care of by the cage and the other one is by the imp, and because it's larger than the cage, he is being playful for these dudes. They are mm -hmm. sort of taking wow, care of Wow, you're actually using that. That's good. Yeah, so it took care of this one. And it takes care of this thing as well, theoretically. And so that's it. And in terms of um, sickness, is fine. This one wants to eat. So here you go. And it, its anger is fulfilled. It's uh, magic is taken care of by the imp and playfulness by that as well. So that's fine. Your go. I... I just don't know how to manage it. I mean, all my green cards are poop. <laughs> it's just kind of what happened. But I, I just want a reminder. Do I need an imp for each? rage that the cage cannot contain no one of them does it wait you can put an imp mm -hmm. for a rage attack yes. he'll just go to the hospital yeah but it covers one rage one rage so I, if i want to cover two rages yes. i need two imps yes. that's what you're saying yes otherwise he'll go away okay returning to my original Plan. Um, mm -hmm. Does he want? He wants poop. Okay, I'll do right. my competitions in the meanwhile. So I'll be sending this. It's monster. complicated. It's okay. Don't be angry. That's at me. okay. So I'm sending. Oh, so it it looks at everyone. Um, so I have three monsters. So that's and no no mutations. So that's six points for me. Um, and theoretically, I can start selling. So I'll do that as well. So I'll sell to him um, for, let's see. Maybe I actually I managed. Wow. So I'll send to him. So he will give me um, six points because of these two pairs and one point for this. So that's seven points minus the suffering. That's six points. So six times two, that's 12. So, in, so I'm on 12. So that's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good, honey. And I'm selling um, uh, for four. Okay, so uh, this little dude has one anger outburst that is not taken care of by the cage. So he so he using... goes into the hospital. Yeah. But the imp has blocked it. He will poop once. Mm hmm. And he will be fed with uh, this can, which will give me one point. Mm -hmm. I also have one, two, three, four, and I will get an additional one because I'm feeding him with a can as well. Mm. Okay, and he will also have the meat. This one we said was fulfilled. The other one is two food, which I gave him. He poops twice. He has two magical outbursts taken by the cage and one playfulness done by the imp. So just the two poop. And that's it. We're tied here. So, so we that's get five. five each. And I will also sell. I will sell him to the scientist. 
No, he wants pairs of magic and food. Yep. Of which I have two, so, so that's six, six points. points. And he wants poop. Yeah. Of which I have two, so that's, so that's eight, eight points. points. So eight points times two, that's sixteen points. That's sixteen points. Okay. One and then fifteen. Yes. So that's fifty five. Five, correct. Yep. And yeah. I have a fifty. Yep. <laughs> Sure. Sure. Okay, so he is sold. He goes to the happy place. Mm -hmm. This goes here. This goes here. And this goes here. Imp. Not yet, right? No. Uh, how much money was I supposed to get for him? Four, right? Was it this one? Yeah. Yeah. But he was not at max. Mm. He was before max. He was at four and three, right? Yes, four and... Oh, four and four. No, no, no. that's what he was. I'm supposed to get free coins. It's okay. fine. Did you get your money? Yes. Okay. Never mind, let's take another one. Okay. So we sell. Um, we discard our cards. Okay, you can leave it. But I don't want to. Okay. I mean, I know I can. Yeah. It doesn't mean okay, I so, should. Yeah. So any leftover imps uh, can do stuff. You can execute, you can use the facilities if you want. Um, I do want to, but only one of them, right? Yeah, only one of them. So this one costs an imp. This one costs money and gets me an imp from the board, right? Um, right, from anywhere on the board. So that includes the hospital. Yeah. Okay, so I'll return him because he's minus points. Yeah, so you want to pay the coin or did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so great. And now we age our, our pets. Mm -hmm. This one gets aged. This one gets aged by one. And we age our food. We return our imps, thank you. I don't have food to age, I will age my pet. And we start the last round. Mm -hmm. I'm moving all the imps. Mm -hmm. This time I'm moving actually all of them. Okay. I moved them, it's fine. These you moved. Yeah. That's fine then. And let's These go see. back. Yep. All right, so starting from, yeah. So starting from here, it's fine. Should be only two cages, there are two cages. Here we need just the two monsters. Here we need one, we need two of these. And in terms of food, we need to have two vegetables over here. We need to have two vegetables over here. And we need to have, sorry, it's here. And we need to have two meat over here. Okay, that's great. Don't we have an additional meat? Mm, from what? Uh, from the center. Here? Here? Yeah. Because he's standing over here that he takes the, the meat. I was looking at the wrong card, sorry. Yeah. So we need two artifacts. Mm -hmm. On it. Let's see what they are. They the are... crystal ball, which... Right, so the crystal ball gives you an additional Before drawing card. new cards in phase three, you may discard up to three cards. Oh, that's good. And draw a replacement card for each one. So and up to three cards. The refrigerator in which you place you one. You take piece one food, of food token from uh, from the bank and put it on the tile, and it's used as either food, and it does not age. And if the magic box is empty, you can reuse it before moving or discarding food tokens during the aging food. You can put one of them in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. for and it's age. neutral once it's there. Yes. That's good. Yeah. Okie dokie. I think that's it. Yeah, that's the last, last round. round. After that, we have competition. Yes, and we open up this one, which is uh, just a temp agency where you send it in a, an imp and you get two coins. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah. It's not useful to me now, but it's not bad. Yeah. Now, the order of those is random. 
Right. So it could have been any other order. Yeah. Okay. The last competition, uh, the last competition is actually for each playfulness in all cages. Yeah. And the last buyer wants all so, colors of suffering. So he, he'll give you three points for every distinct color of a card that has a suffering icon on it. Mm -hmm. And one point for each anger. Mm -hmm. And the other one is self-explanatory, I think. Okay. Right? Um, let's see. So I want that and that. And I couldn't have used any more facilities, right? Just one facility. Correct. Okay. When you go here, you use a facility and at the end of the round, you use one. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's a shame. I could have used some cleaning up. Yeah. Okay, so I think I am ready. Okay, and your first player I'm this first player. So I'm at f four. Four. Weren't you first player last time? Because I think so you we... started. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Not I have that four. It matters. I have three. Right. So I Did think. Did we get coins? Oh no! You're right. I'm supposed to have two. I'm not looking. You can change your mind. No, no. So I think I'll go and pick up a this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, done. Very good, honey. Thanks. We need to have one here. Right. Mm -hmm. It's Playfulness. Okay, your turn. I'm actually going to take it. Sure. Your turn. Okay, I am going to take... Wait, there's no need for this. And I do need a lot of meat, which is a bummer because there's no meat around. I just took another meat. I though. took offense to that. Um, everything is bad. Everything is bad. So I'll go. Oh. The fridge helps because you get a food that's neutral with it. Oh, that's true. And the yeah. extra artifacts are also nice. Yeah, the extra cards. Yeah. So I'll put a token here, which is of any type. I'm going to take an additional pet because I don't want these cages to stay empty. And it's gonna be, do I get anything for rage? Yeah, rage and suffering are good. Okay. Sickness, not suffering. Right, uh, yeah, I'll take the bunny. Okay, I think, hmm. This is more needs. This is more chances of getting what I want. I think I will take this group to the black market. Mm -hmm. And what will you purchase there, honey? Mm, I think I will get this nice so i need to pay a coin for that i'll get the bodyguard which i can use for another so you're at one right so before you do that right you're right i'm at two now very good i don't need the vegetable so you can have all that but i will yeah so i will maybe um oof. yeah i will go here oh well, I'm gonna go to the veggies, and yeah. now it's your turn. And I think um, it's it may help me 
If I'll take a card, but I do need to play with them. It allows me to look, I don't need to look. Okay, I'm passing. I will take the rest of the food just in case. Mm-hmm. And I have one more imp. What can I do? I'm gonna take my relatives because those yeah, are my that's really important for you. Yeah, and I have not taken any. Yeah, and they go to the board. No, then they, they go to the group. Yes. Okay. No, I. It's a question because yeah. they're useful for stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's it. So now we install our pets. Yeah. So I really I need to think about this one. Um. This one needs a lot of. Plays. Who's angry the most? Mm, probably him. He'll do a bunch of stuff. Oh, but it, I can only. Feed him I'm gonna those. start taking cards if you're okay with it, honey. So maybe I should. I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, I'll just move. I'll put him here. I have two anger. I'll do this. I have two I'll playfulness. I have two food. Okay, so because of this ability, magic. I will actually discard one card. Mm -hmm. um, or even two? No, I think the one is fine to draw. Take your time to check, there's no rush. Yeah, maybe I'll discard this one as well. And I will just grab cards instead. And now I will pick up cards. So in terms of purple, I need just the two. In terms of greens, I need one, two, three. So that's three cards. In terms of red, I need three. So that's one, two, three. In terms of yellow, I need one, two, three. Again, so that's this one. And now I will whew, do this and this. And this, and this. And right now we want to have as many playfulness as possible, which is going to be a problem. And Across the board, right? Right. And we want sickness for food and sickness and anger. I don't have any imps. I, I can't play with them except for the one that's in playful cages, but I'm done. Um, I am done. I'll just uh, do myself quickly. Sure. Uh, two food for this guy. Who ate twice. He played once, covered by the cage, a magical outburst and a sickness. So all his needs have been fulfilled. Magical outburst is taken care of by the cage, and that's it. He has... One rage, one food, and luckily for me, he's an omnivore. And both the rage and the magical outbursts are covered by the cage. So those needs are fulfilled. I have no reason not to sell pets, right? Oh, there's a competition for max number of pets. Okay. So I need a green one. Could I have given him another suffering somehow? A green yes, one. Yes, I could have. But she wants... Wait. I mean... I hate mutate. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just feed you. Uh, let's feed you. So this is one. I'll pay a coin to move this to be this. This is one. This is... Um, wait. What? Fine. I'm gonna Anger. change my mind about this, which the cage can absorb. So I have one. For oh, that's that. not a lot at all. Okay, so we will not sell you. Fine, we'll sell you, and you will be sick. 
because that's what it wants. So one red sickness, one green sickness so that I don't have to feed you, one yellow poop, um, and doesn't wait. Just doesn't matter. Let's do this instead and give you an anger. That's the maximum that I can do. And now I'm missing a purple. I ended everything in case anyone was uh, Which will following. be another anger because this one will go here. I wanted to boost this monster's sellability, but it is not yet sellable. That's what the uh, cross, the red cross on the coin says. So that's pretty much useless. So that's one. That's two that's three yeah it's three um I'm looking at the end game competitions there are and two this one needs to uh let's see eat which is taking care of this why am i missing greens I don't know if I should narrate one, them or not. One, two, three, what do you four. Guys say? One, two, three, four. I should have another green. Okay. Like and subscribe if you want me to narrate it done. So this is another green. Now I need a um, ye yellow and another yellow. Which is really bad and as long as he's not sick who cares uh, yeah it's minus points okay it's so i am deal. ready very good honey did you yes i'm covered with everything no, no did my... you do the cards did you activate the cards yes 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 okay, okay so i'm out. gonna activate mine <clears throat> so two foods one is taken care of by the enhancement here and one is taken care of by the food. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, an additional poop. So a lot of poop. Swimming in poop. Yes. Um, Poopy swimmy. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the magical adverse is taking care of the cage. The anger is taking care of the cage. Mm -hmm. the sickness. That's it. This one. Um, so the anger is taken care of by the cage and the imp cage that goes to the, the hospital. Imp. No, it doesn't go to the hospital. I have this. Oh, it have you're right. The hospital. Right. So that's it. And in terms of uh, sickness, it's fine because it's lower than two. Yeah. And it is. this one, in terms of anger or in terms of the, um, in terms of the magic, it does need to get a mutation because yeah. it's but it's more than the cage. But I'm going to pay a coin to remove that mutation. Very good. Because of my ability here and in terms of um strength anger it's this one and sickness is fine so that's it very good honey very good okay, okay next. let's do competitions. the competitions uh playfulness i only have two i only have one playfulness so i get two points i have whew, zero i have zero uh, can you take can you magically whip some playfulness Actually, I don't think you have a cage no, that can fine. absorb it's it. Fine. It's fine. It's okay. fine. Okay, so that's a zero. So in this case, what happens score-wise? You just get the six. Really? That's mean. I think so. Maybe you get the two? No, you're first place. Yeah, but for zero, do you get no, two no, points? No, no, nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Selling time. Now, okay. what I was trying to say is that there are two competitions at the end of the game. One is for general resources, mm -hmm. and the other one for is the for uh, the store. Now, you win the store, hands down. There's mm -hmm. like no competition yeah. there. So I'm going to sell one of my uh, pets, because why the hell not? Okay. So you want to start selling? Yeah, I'm, I'll sell uh, this pet. Mm-hmm because it has um, 
two colors of sickness. That's very good. That's so plus two anger. Wow. So that's eight points. Very good, honey. Now I am going so that's to remove sixteen, right? Right. I'm going to remove one of these to make it times three instead of times two. So okay. it's it's going to be uh twenty um four. So twenty four. Yeah. We said how many? You have eight. Right, that's twenty four. So this was seven. Okay. Eight, nine. No, wait, this is the same. Mm -hmm. the, the, these sure. are the same, right? Sure. right? We said seven. Now you're supposed to get another 20. 10, 17. And now you get another seven. So that's here. Correct. Okay, great. Now I'm selling uh, uh, this. Of this pet which is this unicorn and he has one suffering and no rage so that's just three points times two that's six did we do the competition yes we do yes, yes we, we did. did did you uh lose points because of mutations and a poop he has one poop and zero mutations okay but no i didn't so you're still but getting... Wait, wait, wait. Six. Poop on all cages? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Poop on all cages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're you're both at zero. at zero. Okay. Good. He's still being sold. Yeah. Okay. End of game. One second. I'm, now I can't sell the other one. Okay. So no, actually it. not end of game. Let's uh, remove our cards real quick. Why? Just sort of curious. I, I want to. Um, there are a few more steps to the game, and I want to make sure that we cover all of them. All right. Now we. Uh, so imps that have done nothing, mm -hmm. like these two, can do stuff. Okay. Um, right. Um, so just, unfortunately, they'll just do coins because the cages are not empty i can clean poop with uh yeah the power of uh paying people yeah. to clean my poop yeah it's true but that's it i think yep okay um let's that's remove it. imps from the board yeah okay the bodyguard stays there the bodyguard yeah remove uh, Returns here. Okay, let's do final scoring. So, um, how much money do you have? I have uh, 14, Six, so that's eight, seven points. 10. I have, sorry, you have 14, so that's seven, correct. So, I have three, six, um that's nine ten. ten twelve so that's six points for me mm -hmm. one point oh actually he doesn't return it because he's a point that's one point for every um food bodyguard potion artifact so that's um one, two, three. wait one two three four five six seven that's uh seven points for me five seven yes that's so you were at six and now you're supposed to be at 13. 13. okay next two points for every canned food or um none. lollipop none for me none for you yeah. you did not use that mechanic at all yep yeah. so minus two points for every dude on the board so you lose so you're at nine yes and okay. that is it so I gain one, two, three, four, five, six, six, and you gain one, two. Yeah. And now the second and last competition is about the story itself. So Which I, you win, so we're tied. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I have two, two um, pets. pets, so that's four points. I have one pet, so that's two points. Um, I have... Um, let's not count this one. So that's one, two, three, four five and they're each a point so you're at nine yes and then i, I lose one two three four i lose four points 
for what? For the poop. Right, I lose two points. And I lose four. So you won, so you get one, six. And, and you have two. two. So you won. Oh, okay. Did I get, no, no, that's it, you won, honey. Kudos. Straight, straight. <sighs> Thank you. This was intense, wasn't it? Very much so, and pretty long. We're running two hours. Wow. Yeah. So, um, thoughts? Okay. Right. Let's start with art and components and theme. Well, this is adorable. Components, it's very difficult because some of them we got Kickstarter or oh yeah, so, Meeple Source. Right, so Meeple Source. Like so the, the phallus right. greens are not part of the base game. Right, and the meat and uh, what else? The canned food. The right. poop. The poop, poop are just yeah. plain brown cubes. In the, in the base game, they're just cubes. That's true. Um, but other, I mean, the components themselves are not high quality to any. To yeah, the Yodas of, uh, are rather ugly. Right, but the the gimmick of the pets. This is adorable. Is adorable. The art is adorable. The art the is rule fantastic. Book is amazing, both from a functional uh, point of view, but also from the lore and fluff. Yeah, yeah, they put really, really good fluff on those. It's just on everything. the 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 rule book itself is full of jokes. Uh, while you read the rules, not only the the, mm -hmm. the cute uh, monsters, pets. It's everything from the art in the rule book to the examples that they choose is just yeah. really, really, really yeah. well done. So let's talk about the base game's mechanisms. Um, so it's a, it's a sort of a worker placement. The gimmick here is that you control the order in which you send workers uh, by grouping them together, uh, which I like. Uh, again, the 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 thinking, the prioritization of whether I want to go small groups but large groups, or uh, sorry, m less groups but larger, or more groups but smaller. It's very interesting. Yeah, there wasn't that much of a conflict between the two of us because in two players, there's usually right. less. But when you're in three or four players, everything is incredibly tight and you're in each other's faces and you're like, I'm going to make this group of six so I can get a pet. Yeah. It's very, very meaningful, very impactful. Yeah. Um, Less so in two. And I also like the mini game of uh, assigning cards to the pets and trying to optimize this little decision here. Yeah. I have to be honest, when you think about the the game itself, then this is mainly what you think about, even though it's not as major of a part of the game. It's not as important for the scoring as other things are, but it is the most fun part, and it's definitely the most unique. Yeah, it feels like a little Tamaguchi, yeah, if yeah. you're old enough to know what that even means. And I've never seen any other game use the same mechanic. Yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, it's very unique. It's very, very enjoyable. Unique. And it's very thematic even because your pad has certain tendencies, which you can know by looking at the colors. Mm -hmm. But then when you actually drop cards, you don't know what exactly would they want to do every round. So that's very thematic, I think. It adds a lot of randomness to the game, but it also gives you the tools to mitigate it yeah. if you so choose. Be it with the artifacts that give you extra cards or the potion. Mm -hmm. It's, it gives you the tools if you think that you're not going to be able to handle it. Yeah. Um, so let's just... Sum okay, so let's talk about the expansion and then we'll summarize. So what did you think as a first player about the expansion? It's weird. It covers a lot of the things that the base game uh, doesn't do as perfectly. Yeah. That is, it gives you extra food because food is completely random and it does not increase with the number of players. Mm. making it a very very difficult to handle resource oh it it does increase because these are not taken and this does not reduce it, it does from not here. increase by much well it's two-thirds most cards have six pieces of food on them or seven mm. that's not enough for 
mm-hmm. two free pets and four players. Uh, mm-hmm. We've played this game yeah. in larger numbers. I know the food isn't enough. Yeah. And this kind of helps you mitigate that both by giving you a single use place of food and by giving you the factories, which I like. I also like the fact that they're in a random order. Mm-hmm. I think that's very cool because then you can decide their usefulness. The mechanic of delaying things till you use them, like the workers here mm-hmm. and the envelope of available stores, is something that I don't like. Mm-hmm. I don't think it hampers the game in any way, but every time I think about having to do that or that, I'm like, mm, I don't feel like it. It's, like it, it's a decision that I'm not happy with. Mm-hmm. But I do think that uh, the expansion adds very little and it does it well. Okay. That's my first time playing with it. But... All right. So um, I do fun. like the the accessories because... I used them. Yeah, because they allow you to 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 make your uh, pets older in mm-hmm. a sense, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. So that's cute. And I do like the facilities. I find the um, envelope a little bit like difficult to wrap my hand head around when I'm explaining the rules. Mm-hmm. You, you you put it in the left and the rightmost, and then you ah, it's sort of not not elegant, but the they themselves are very cute, uh, mainly because you can uh, use them every turn, even if you don't go there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the base game holds so much punch that you should think about getting the expansion only if you've played a ton of the base game. Yeah. Like there's so there's many a lot monsters, of the base game. so many um, cages, so many options, so many artifacts that you don't really need this expansion very late in your experience with the game. Uh, having said that, it doesn't add new mechanisms. No. It just it compensates just... a bit and gives you a few more options. I yeah. think in a high number of players, it's definitely a bonus to have mm-hmm. it because it feels it's, it's less... more options. Yeah, yeah, it feels less restrictive, which is nice, but it's not mandatory in any way. Yeah. Sorry for the rough cut technical issues. Like pets were all over the all place. All over the place. They were running eating around. the furniture and the imps had to catch yeah. them. Yeah, very messy. So you're saying? <laughs> and we're back. It's a deceptively heavy game. Yes. Uh, I don't know if it felt heavy looking at us play it, but it's very, very, very intense. It's very heavy. Decisions are meaningful, even if they don't look meaningful at first. And especially in a high number of players, it's a high stress. And the decision to put an imp on the platform or the decision to which seller to go to which pet, those are major decisions that you don't necessarily feel the full impact of until you get two turns later. That being said, if uh, you like that sort of things, if you like high optimization, if you like high intensity thinking games, then uh, this is definitely a great one. It's also not classic worker placement. Yes. It's definitely worker placement. It feels this fills the same niche. Uh-huh. It like scratches the same itch, but it's unique. Yes, very unique. Yeah. So I highly recommend it if you have... Uh, Experience with past worker placement games or Euro games in general. Yeah, and, and you, you like, like them it. heavy. Yes. You like them heavy. The art is great. The colors, uh, we mentioned that we uh, that they did not age well, some yes, of the elements. The gra- yeah, the styling, the brownness of everything, yes. Like, like look at this... this yeah, this is art. something I'd expect from like Doom era video games, yeah. like not the new Doom, like the first Doom. Mm. And uh, other than that, really, really fun okay. game. We don't play it as much as we'd like to because, again, it is very heavy mm-hmm. and it requires time to explain. It requires time to click. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we recommend it very much to those heavy gamers. Uh, if you haven't tried it, you should definitely uh, try it. Mm-hmm. And we hope you enjoyed this video and review. Bye. Bye. Poop.